sup virgo welcome back to my channel let's get started on your read let's pull some cards i hope you're doing well um let's start off with some oracles so uh virgo i feel like things could be changing for you during this time uh something about swift changes or i feel like uh a rebirth something about a rebirth here so you have TikTok underneath the deck i feel like you could be doing something surrounding time or there are time restrictions when it comes to something in particular or i feel like um something about stricken this could also have something to do with numbers virgo uh something about breaking a hundred dollar bill or something like that let's see <laughs> oh my goodness so you have fates underneath the deck. So I feel something is faded. I feel like um, a faded event or I feel like uh, a Virgo, you could be co-creating when it comes to a, a relationship or this could be business. I feel like you're creating something. I feel like you're putting pieces together. Also, you're very, very wise when it comes to a situation, the owl here. You have an owl and a cheetah and an egg so there could be some cleansing going on today virgo i feel like you could be cleansing or i even feel like uh you could be dealing with someone who's dishonest with a cheetah card or someone who's kind of fast in movement or i feel like uh something is slow currently something is not fast something could be very very slow or you could be winding down or i even feel like someone could be walking a tightrope or someone could feel very foolish or something about a circus here uh virgo i feel like you're you're enjoying some type of show or there could be cleanup like after some type of show or event that's what i'm seeing here virgo the number 40 could be significant to you so funny here let's go into it with the tarot um so there could be self-atonement when it comes to a situation and I feel like you could be giving a situation zero or this could be a person in particular. I feel like you could be giving them nothing or there is a possession to a certain degree. So with the number four, I could I could feel like Virgo, something is under control when it comes to you. Yeah, the emperor card. So you could be dealing with an Aries or Sagittarius emperor. You could be dealing with a narcissist as well. So you have a hierophant. So for many of you, I see you committing yourself today, uh, maybe to God, or I feel like um, you could be dealing with a Taurus. I even get, Virgo, uh, something about commitments. I see commitments being due, or I feel like you could be uh, doing something surrounding sound, or this could even be like studio vibes. I feel like someone could be in the studio or... I don't know, Virgo. <laughs> Something about windows or church. I feel like you could be taking someone to church or someone's going to church or something about the holy regalia. The Hierophant card can also speak of material, Virgo. So there could be something going on surrounding material. So this could be a numerous of things. This could be like devices, uh, things that you touch, feel, and you know, you sense. What is the Hierophant? Hierophant for Virgo spirit, for the highest good. Okay, so you have Empress. So Hierophant and Empress, uh, Virgo, I feel like you could be committing yourself to a feminine energy. So for many of you, I see you doing something surrounding universal knowledge. Uh, this could have something to do with life. Virgo. Really, really good energy. Empress here. I see you committing yourself to a task in particular. You have the hanged man underneath the deck. So there could be a desire to know if you're going to complete a task. I feel someone wants to know if you're going to do something with them. That's what I'm seeing here, Virgo. I feel like someone wants to know if you're going to honor a commitment be there for them or do something in particular that's what i'm seeing yeah the king of swords energy so you could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius i also get um someone's honoring you or someone's committing themselves to you virgo is what i'm seeing yeah the eight of wands energy communication when it comes to a gemini libra aquarius or use higher intelligence when it comes to the higher friend and the empress 
let's see here so i see god possessing someone virgo i see god taking control over a situation could be this empress energy let's clarify there could be possessions or i feel like restrictions when it comes to something in particular so this could be a libra or a taurus or i feel you could be restricting someone virgo or putting god into um a situation so you have the uh, temperance could be dealing with a sagittarius i see you um and you have the queen of pentacles there so i feel like you're uh i feel like there so i feel like there could be some type of anxiety and worry when it comes to this person high priestess underneath the deck i feel like someone's worrying someone's kind of afraid or there's anxiety and worry surrounding uh, god i feel like someone knows that god is taking full control or possession over their life um virgo someone could be afraid of this someone could um have a knowing of this a knowing of god taking control over their life or god um having their hand on them rather uh virgo you could have prayed for someone i see your prayer being really really effective um very effective you have two owls here so very very wise of you a wise move a wise decision or some type of choice you've made virgo i'm seeing i feel like it was healing like real real healing okay so you have ten of pentacles so you have nine of wands ten of pentacles so i feel like we're going there could be some challenges when it comes to a family dynamic or i feel like there's challenges surrounding spiritual inner and out of and outer work when it comes to a person i feel like someone they're very very could be difficult nine of wands nine of wands Virgo. i picked up on a a, a specific energy from the nine of wands i was doing some studying nine of wands can give you windows but it could also give you sort of like a like a kneeling type of energy so more so let's say the wrath of god right <laughs> the wrath of god it's more so like someone like cringing or like something very cringeworthy with the nine of wands energy uh something could be cringeworthy to you or to someone else i feel like someone um they know who god is now or something like that or i feel like when someone comes around it's like they do like this like like i don't know we're gonna take it how it resonates so that could reference to me someone is very very powerful in spirit or i feel someone could be um very very shameful when it comes to a situation virgo or someone could be bashful shy nine of wands energy i feel like someone um they're bowing to a person in particular that's what i'm seeing here virgo or someone could be kneeling before god as well ten of pentacles energy so I see someone now doing the spiritual inner and the outer work. Yeah, the wheel of fortune is there. So this could be karma when it comes to someone's independence in particular. Virgo, let's see. Yeah, the seven of cups. So there could be some confusion or multiplicity when it comes to a situation. I also get Virgo um, viewing, viewing something, watching something or... I feel like someone could be like staring off into space almost is what I'm seeing here with the seven of cups. So I feel like you could be talking, talking to someone or I, I even feel like Virgo, you could be trying to cooperate with someone, right? Or someone's cooperating. That's what I'm seeing here for many of you. I feel like they're containing this information as well. Or I feel like Virgo, um, you're giving someone compassion. Like I see you giving someone compassion or, or you're having a simple conversation with someone and it's like they're staring off into space type of energy. So it's almost like I feel like someone, they're very, very challenged, Virgo, when it comes to you. Or this could be work, your work or... Let's clarify. Queen of Swords energy, okay. 
So direct communication, you have the emperor, knight of pentacles. So someone's work here is what I'm seeing, Virgo, could be like um, confusing or something about praise. I feel like someone expects your praise and at the same time they want to challenge you. So I feel like someone wants something from you or they want all of these accolades, but at the same time and in the same breath, they want to challenge you. So I feel like something doesn't go hand in hand or I see you cutting through the illusions or the confusion thus far. Let's clarify it, Virgo, with the cards. Okay, the Four of Wands energy. So this could be rectification of a relationship or containment of information. I also get something to do with the home, Virgo, the Emperor card. So this could be someone that you're in relationship with. This could be an Aries energy, Queen of Swords. I see you implementing something when it comes to this person or you're containing something in particular when it comes to this person. I feel like someone could be um, very shame or discontent could be with what you've implemented or something you've said queen of swords energy yeah the four of swords so i feel like this person hides a lot whoever this person is they hide a lot of shit or this is someone who's doing a lot of a lot of like hiding virgo this emperor energy could be a sag or an aries i see them hiding a lot in relationships so this could be someone you are in a relationship with this doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship this could be someone that you commit to or you have commitments with this person that's what i'm seeing in the cards yeah the devil card so it could be some form of toxicity or a demonic entity with the devil card or force that i feel you've met with virgo or you came face to face with with the ace of wands i feel like you projected something so for many of you i see you doing a very very powerful prayer or a need for you to take action towards doing so with the Ace of Wands and the Devil card. Um, Virgo, I feel like for many of you, you may not understand the power of your prayer. Now, I don't know which type of prayer you may indulge in, but I'm seeing uh, numerous prayers or various amount, various <laughs> different types of prayers across cultures and religions i'm seeing could be quite effective with the ace of wands uh i feel like a lot of prayer okay that's what i'm seeing here excessive amounts of prayer um for the highest good virgo for whatever this toxicity may be high priestess energy i feel this may be something that you know intuitively with the high priestess for many of you once you do that i see like certain restrictions when it comes to someone's praise so someone could be trying to challenge you and they have no right or no authority to do so right especially after the commitments with this person i feel you've committed yourself to this person um a great deal and there could be um toxicity on this person's end or something that they projected something very very wicked or demonic with the devil card we're going to go into it further i feel something has you very discontent in spirit so this could be someone you're in relationship with yeah ten of cups i feel like you're you're not really discontent you're more so laughing at the communication from this person it's quite laughable some of the things that this person says are high priestess energy i feel like you you've acquired some knowledge some spiritual knowledge to um maybe be able to combat such wickedness or devilish impulses that someone may have i see you containing it or i see you going up in the spirit heavy emphasis on lace virgo let's see here yeah the nine of pentacles energy so i see you combating something virgo the justice card could be dealing with the libra for many of you or there's perseverance when it comes to a libra ace of swords energy so i see you getting some type of communication when it comes to this person or i feel like many of you you're communicating a lot in the spirit or i feel like you're dealing with uh life is what i'm seeing virgo uh 
communication coming in or you're communicating with someone or a need for you to communicate something to someone or speak up, speak your truth. I feel like someone, they don't want you to speak your truth. I feel like you speaking your truth affects someone else, but they're not committed to you as you are committed to them. Take it how it resonates, Virgo. That's what I'm seeing. And this could be unexpected to you. Yeah, the Six of Wands energy. So victorious energy on your end is what I'm seeing. Very victorious when it comes to the lesson or the teaching, rather. Um, you could be someone who's younger. Uh, a lot of elders, they learn from the youth. And they pay attention to the youth for specific purpose and reason to acquire and learn uh, Virgo. Or this could even be intel, you know, dialogue, intellect, something like that here. Uh, someone could be learning something new, a new word, new phrase, or someone could be speaking rather um, properly when it comes to you, Virgo. Or someone's picking up or um, speaking some some type of verbiage. Let's see. Yeah, the Two of Cups energy. And then you have the Sun card. So there could be healing or vitality surrounding a relationship where I feel like uh, you're dealing with Aaliyah. I feel like for many of you, you're seeing eye to eye with your expansion. And you're seeing eye to eye with some sort of uh, lesson that is being taught to maybe people that rally around you or this could be someone that you've known for a very very long time i also feel like virgo you've known someone for lifetimes could be a sagittarius i feel like you've known this person for lifetimes but i feel they're very very evasive for a reason with the hanged man card there could be delays the hermit card well i feel like someone they have a lot they want to know a lot about you but on their accord. So like I say, you could be dealing with a boss or this is someone who makes a very, very stern decisions uh, from a place of delay. So let's clarify the hanged man. You're dealing with the Pisces here. There's vitality or healing surrounding this person. Yeah, the uh, temperance again. So delivery. I feel like uh, there's a delay on some type of delivery or I feel like someone they're very very smug or it's almost like um evasive type of energy virgos what i'm seeing like like pulling away i see like someone they push people away because of this so whoever this person is i feel they could be highly intelligent i see them pushing people away for their own comfort with the queen of pentacles and then you have the world card i feel like um destruction or cycles completing when it comes to this person so i also see virgo someone catching up on bills i feel like this could be you or someone else i see someone catching up on bills or someone's name could be bill here um <laughs> i feel like uh cycles closing or there's a teaching or something about the fountain of youth someone could look very very youthful virgo i feel like you could be giving someone their props i feel like you're not a hater I feel like you're not, you know, toxic or trying to cause restrictions in someone else's life or, you know, just hate for no reason. I see you uplifting with the world card. Whoever this queen of pentacles energy is, it could be a Sag queen of pentacles energy, Sag Capricorn energy, Sag Virgo energy is what I'm seeing or Virgo Sag. That's what I'm seeing. I see Virgo Aquarius. Yeah, the uh, page of pentacles, so proof of this. I feel like um, you could be dealing with the twin flame, uh, Virgo here. So page of pentacles, I see someone reaching out to you. Could be the queen of pentacles. Someone's very e evasive and someone's not. So I see the queen of pentacles standing on business is what I'm seeing here. So this could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I see them watching a situation very, very closely. Um, and I feel this Queen of Pentacles, this could be you, Virgo. You're just looking for proof of a situation where I see someone reaching out to you. Let's see. Yeah, the King of Cups. So sound or emotional redemption or emotional restitution with the King of Cups. I see an offer coming in from a Pisces, Cancer, or, Scorp or Scorpio for many of you. Or I see someone making a gesture or a move 
to maybe like um emotionally fulfill you virgo is what i'm seeing here yeah queen of wands energy let's go into the queen of pentacles further queen of pentacles i see queen of pentacles sending you something virgo queen of pentacles is sending something out yeah, the five of wands so there could be politicking when it comes to the queen of pentacles she could be kind of petty or i feel like for many of you there's chaos a lot of chaos going on a lot going on i feel the queen of pentacles is very very busy i feel she she's not really she pays attention to the deception but she's not She's not like that. She, let's clarify it. Yeah, the three of wands twice. So the queen of pentacles, she expects something. Uh, Virgo here is what I'm seeing. She's expecting something. She, she's kind of side eyeing a situation like the queen of wands almost, but she's watching from afar. She's waiting for her ships to come in is what I'm seeing as well. I feel like that ship could be you, Virgo, or Justice card, Seven of Pentacles. I feel more so the Queen of Pentacles, this is you. You want someone to use their discernment, or this is, I feel someone wants you to use your discernment, this person. I feel someone wants you to invest into them, or I feel like someone just wants your time here, Virgo. Yeah, the Six of Cups. Okay, Six of Cups energy. I feel like um, <laughs> memorabilia or... Virgo, I feel like you're going to find something. For many of you, you may find something on the ground. Or I feel like you could be digging through star, uh, storage or something about um, photographs here. I see the Queen of Pentacles watching you, like I say, very, very closely. Queen of Pentacles looks at you like a, a sister or brother. Or Queen of Pentacles looks at you as someone to give praise. Rather to you know restrict or be petty with or cause a fight with you know what i'm saying i feel the queen of pentacles she has more care in her heart uh rather than someone else that you're dealing with or i feel this cancer pisces or scorpio they have care to give you rather than hate or pettiness clarify the five of wands Clarify the five of wands. Okay, nine of cups, most certainly Virgo. I feel like you're the queen of pentacles wish fulfillment. I feel like the queen of pentacles, she'll cheers with you. She'll come up to you. If you in a bar and she know you, she might come up to you and pay you a tab or some shit like that. Or I feel the queen of pentacles might come up to you and you know, sit down and have a drink or pay for your drink or some shit like that. I feel this Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, this person to pay for your drink. This person to, you know, cheers what you want some shit whoever this other person is from the past that you're dealing with or whoever is watching you from afar i feel like they're not that type of person to do that yeah i see the um for many of you a, a sagittarius or a leo they're not the type of person to do that let's see here what is the five of wands what type of petty or conflict or there could be something going on, Virgo, that I feel is now a memory or something of the past. And now you're waiting for your ships to come in currently. Um, Queen of Pentacles, it will come at the right time is what I'm seeing. On time, at the right time. Yeah, Six of Pentacles energy. So Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles, this could be unexpected to you that someone's petty like that or someone's very toxic like that or I don't know. What is the Five of Wands, Six of uh, Pentacles? discontentment again i feel this person is just very discontent in spirit i feel like it could be with their own victory six of wands energy six of pentacles maybe as far as some type of exchange goes yeah six of um i'm sorry eight of cups six of cups there i feel someone could be walking away or someone could just be battling emotionally with queen of cups energy i also get someone could be discontent with a scorpion energy cancer or pisces let's clarify yeah, the queen of wands so aries leo or sagittarius or i feel very very bold someone's just very very bold and i feel like it could it's hard to maneuver judgment when being so bold uh or at least um virgo i feel like someone may need to drop the burden of of being so bold for specific purpose when it comes to their vic their victory <laughs> I also get Virgo. Something is laughable with the Ten of Cups energy underneath the deck. Something is hilarious. Let's clarify. 
Scorpio, the death card. So it could be a Scorpio or something about death. I feel like someone... It's this death energy. They get so mad and so bold. They be so discontent. They, be... <laughs> they get to that point where... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They got to go. You got to wipe their ass up. You got to clean their ass up. You got to wipe their ass from the motherfucking round. Get their ass together. That's like, I don't know who this is. Y'all dealing with a Scorpio, Sag energy? Be very careful. Be very careful because this person will get mad. And that propaganda alone could affect them mentally. You know what I'm saying, Virgo? That's what I'm seeing in the cards. Five of Pentacles, spiritual poverty, a disgrace. Um, transformation as far as the forward movement goes in this person's transformation could be five of pentacles type of energy as to where some of them they say can't even break a hundred and they say the young ones the younger ones they say they flying right past the ears Four swords energy. They sick. They're sick. You don't do no shit like that because you mad and discontent. Because some shit ain't going your way. That's that spoil shit. That's that shit of, oh, I done got it all. I got it all. And once I stop, once you fuck with me getting it all or once shit don't go my way, death. Ooh. Let's see the authority. What's the authority to that? What's the authority? Oh, that's demonic. That's that demon. That's that restriction or that prayer that you may need to uh, pray, Virgo, when it comes to that entity, that devil card. That's that toxicity. They want to restrict the motherfucker because some shit ain't going their way. Four of Pentacles energy, self-atonement. Many of y'all, y'all might be pulling your energy away from such wickedness. King of Wands energy and taking your desires or passions elsewhere. Um, Virgo, this is what I'm seeing. So you, I feel you have revelation about your independence for many of you, or I feel like you could be doing something, um, Virgo, surrounding your mental capacity. I feel like you could be taking care of your mental capacity or there's revelation when it comes to a Libra. Yeah, two of swords energy. I feel you're very closed off. Um, Virgo, too much betrayal. Also something about heartbreak. Something about heartbreak. I feel someone may need to open up their heart. Something could be blocking the heart, the heart chakra sacral heart and throat chakra all of that i feel someone may need to align their chakras that's what i'm seeing too much magic too much magic i feel someone or too much magic too much it's backfiring that's what i'm seeing let's see too much manipulation page of wands too much too much magic Page of Wands energy. Good news. Good news. Eight of Wands. Virgo, do expect communication when it comes to this person. Um, I feel like someone may have to make a very wise choice when it comes to you um, in some form of recklessness thus far. Virgo, this is what I'm getting. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box where y'all can book a personal. And Virgo, um, I'll get with you later. Have a great Sunday. Memorial Day cookout let me get some uh cookout food y'all got some cookout food let me get a plate can i get a plate let me get a gimme they said gimme got shot <laughs> all right we're gonna take care <laughs>